Yo, what's good? It's Only Entertainment TV, and we are back with another Dead Frontier video. Now, what we are going to be doing today um, is going to be a bit of a different video. Uh, we're going to do wasteland grinding and uh, looting, um, and I'm going to be telling some stories. Uh, this is a new series that I will be starting. I'm going to be telling stories of, you know... Um, Things that have happened to me in my past, uh, you know, so you guys can get a, get to know a little bit more about me and why I am the way. I can't believe I didn't get fucking hit there, but why I am the way I am and why I act the way I act. But um, today today's video, I figured the first video would be probably the uh, harshest video, you know, um, just to kind of get it out there and and just let it sit. Uh, uh, before I tell the story, uh, I don't advocate, you know, or I, I, I don't encourage uh, any kind of drug use. Um, I don't think you should be snorting, you know, inhaling, drinking, fucking uh, injecting. I don't think you should be doing any of that with anything uh, in your life unless, you know, prescribed by a doctor. Um... But then sometimes you can't even trust them motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, but with that being said, the first video uh, I'm going to tell, or the first video, the first video I'm going to tell, the first story I'm going to tell is the time that I almost died. Um, you know, it was a pretty scary and eye-opening experience for me. Eh, do I want that? No, not really. Um... So essentially, it, it does have to do with drugs. Now, and I'm not a, I'm not like a, a, a drug addict. Um, I, I also want to get that cleared up pretty quick. I'm, I'm definitely not a drug addict. Uh, you know, I did stupid stuff as a as a, a a young teen. You know, like most young teens do. Um, you know, smoke marijuana just like most of the fucking the population. As a matter of fact, are legalizing it now. Um, so, that, that, that's always great. More fucking potheads on the street. Um, I mean, I'm not against it. I just don't think it should be for everybody because some people need to just fucking not, you know? <laughs> because there's some people that just don't fucking act like civilized human beings. Um, but, you know, and, and, and I wasn't, it wasn't like an everyday thing. Marijuana was not an everyday thing for me, uh, personally. I would, I, I would probably smoke, was this the one I, I did already? I think I did this one already. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the one I did already. It wasn't an everyday thing for me. It wasn't even like an every other day thing for me. I probably smoked marijuana maybe once every couple of months. Um, you know, if I was having a really bad day and my, my friends were over and was like, eh, hey, you know, let's, let's do something. You know, we would, that's what we would do. So... You know, like, literally once every couple of months. I wasn't that into it. Uh, I would rather have, you know, like, gone to work and, you know, did stuff like that. But it it, it was something that happened in my life. It doesn't currently happen anymore. And I don't really see it happening in the future. Um, you know, really doesn't benefit my life at all, at least not at the moment. I know, I know it benefits. Marijuana benefits plenty of people who have back problems and 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 like just all kinds of medical issues that it, it helps. You know, it, it doesn't like resolve them, but it, it does help bring relief to people who have back problems and joint problems, shit like that. But um, I mean, we we obviously just used it for like our own personal use. Um, but uh, it didn't it didn't bring anything to our lives so I don't I definitely don't advocate um, drugs at all any kind of drug um, you know uh, unless prescribed by the big old doctor um, but we would you know we would do it sometimes we would do it in the house sometimes we would go out we would find a fucking train track to sit under and we would just Toke it out for like fucking three hours, and we would just talk about stupid shit that young kids talk about, uh, you know, girls and fucking money, you know, shit like that, and how we were gonna grow up and all live together in one big ass fucking house, and 
you know, stupid fucking uh, teenage shit. But uh, obviously none of that wound up happening. But, um, you know, we, we would do stuff like that. And then we would just go home and just munch out for fucking the rest of the day. And we'd go to bed early. And then we'd wake up. You know, and, 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 and I know a lot of uh, my friends that, you know, that we used to do it with. Well, I keep saying friends. Like I said, I don't have friends, but, you know, because they live in completely separate areas. We don't text. We don't talk anything. But at the time, they were uh, people I hung out with. I'll call them acquaintances because um, they weren't really friends. But, uh, you know, they would they would do it every day. It was an everyday thing for them. It was, you know, several times a day they would do it. And um, it just wasn't something I was into. Why would I want to be, like, my entire life, why would I want to be non-productive? Because, like, you didn't do anything. Once you got high, it was, that was it. You fucking, you know, you grabbed a bag of fucking Cheez-Its and sat down on your couch and watched, like, Grey's Anatomy or whatever the fuck. Like, it, was, it wasn't, we didn't get high and then go fucking do construction or anything like that. So it was like, why the fuck would you want to be like that? all day, you know, and they never had jobs, so it really never occurred to them, so, um, you know, but me, like, I had a job, I was working, actually, I was working two jobs, um, at the time, so I, I, you know, I would rather have been productive than non-productive, um, but the problem came when, you know, one day, uh, I don't know how many of you live in America, or and I don't know how widespread this certain drug is, but um, it looks an awful lot like marijuana, um, at least from what I can discern. Uh, but it's basically like kitchen spices that they douse in rat poison and other various like household chemicals, and and that gets you high. Um, Steven Seagal just fucking joined. I hope he doesn't kill me. Um, but, yeah, that would that would get you high. It was called K2. And I'm sure some of you may have heard of it. You may have heard of it from the news. You may have, you know, you may know people that smoke it. Um, but that's basically just what it is. It's like rat poison and, 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 and shit like that. Um, no good for your body at all. Um, no drug is really good for your body, um, you know, unless it's uh, marijuana. But then you have to have problems in order for it to be good. Otherwise, you're just a lazy Fuck no, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bang on marijuana smokers. You know, most of them are pretty cool. But um, the problem came when it was you know K two uh, uh, you know really hit the fucking hit the scene. Um, it's been around for a while, but it got real popular. You know, within the you know the coming years, and um, it was popular amongst my friends as well. And I I, I told them I said I never I never want to touch it. I don't want to touch it. I don't want you smoking it around me. I don't want to smell it because it doesn't smell like marijuana. It smells, I mean, it all depends on who mixes it and whatnot, but it, most of the time it smelled like chocolate um, or some kind of like nasty chemical filled candy. Um, and and I, I, I don't want to see it. Don't want to touch it. I barely smoke marijuana as it is. You know, why would I want to, why would I want to smoke that fucking shit? Um, I told him I never want to see it, never want to touch it, never want to smell it. Uh, I don't. I'm not gonna roll it for you. Nothing. And um, oops, I didn't back up far enough. Apparently, I thought I was plenty far enough away. Uh, I was sitting on uh, in my old house, not the house I currently live in, but in my older house. I was sitting on the back step, and because uh, I was playing basketball. Uh, I had a I had a net out back, and I was playing basketball with a couple of friends, um, as well as my brother. And um, I'm sure if he's watching this, he'll probably confirm the story. Um, not that he needs to. I don't have any reason to lie. Um, but uh, sitting out back playing basketball, and then we kind of sat down, took a drink, and and they rolled up, and and that's what they rolled up. I don't know how comfortable he is with me. Explaining his personal life, but you know, fuck it. He's my brother. He's going to deal with it. Um, they smoke that shit. You know, I, I used to tell them all the time. You know, don't fucking smoke this shit. Why you gotta smoke that shit? Just go back to marijuana. Like, you know, it, 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 the, the the thing was is it was so inexpensive compared to marijuana. 
you know, you could probably the same amount of 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 marijuana you could get for five dollars compared to K two was just insane. You could get a whole fucking bag of of K two for five dollars, and 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 you could get a fucking nick for for five dollars in you know in marijuana. But and uh, for those of you who who don't know what a nick is, I mean. I don't really know how to explain it for anybody who's not aware of it. It's just like a little baggie of, of, of marijuana. And we're talking little, like, you could probably fit maybe five ibuprofen in uh, a Nick bag, you know, like five liquid gel ibuprofens in there. Um, so it wasn't a very big bag, but you could get a lot more out of K2, which is why it was so popular. And um, so that's what they were doing, and I wasn't aware of it at the time. I couldn't smell it because we were out in the open air. But I was like, you know, it's been a while. It's a long fucking day. You know, I I, I said, hand me that. And uh, he handed it to me, and just a look on his face. Um, and by the way, the, you know, my brother did hand it to me. Uh, you know, I don't hold any ill resentment towards him. Uh, you know, I took it on my own free will. Uh, you know, and I and I hit it on my own free will. I don't I don't I don't think it's his fault. You know, I, I you know I own up to my mistakes, and uh, you know that was definitely my fault. You know, shouldn't have been smoking anything in the fucking first place. Don't smoke. It 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 doesn't benefit your fucking life. Um, not even cigarettes. Obviously, that's kind of a given. But um, you know, so he handed to me, and just the look on his face was kind of strange um, you know I asked him it was uh, him and one of his friends that was you know smoking and I asked him I said you know what's in this because I couldn't smell it and um, which should have been kind of a, a, a given considering you know without you know living in the ghetto you know that even if you're not smoking marijuana, if it's in a sealed bag in your pocket and you walk by somebody, they're like, bro, you smell like loud. Like, you smell like fucking marijuana. Um, you know, and it wasn't, like, to disrespect somebody. It was actually, like, to let people know, like, don't walk by the fucking police or anything like that, you know, because you smell like fucking drugs. Um, God damn it. I came out fucking this. The only thing that's fucking hit me so far. Um, but... I, like, I couldn't smell it, and, um, and so I took it from him, I asked him, you know, what was in it, and he said, he said marijuana, straight up, marijuana, and, um, so, that's why I just took a, a fucking huge drag, um, of it, and, uh, when I, when I did, he kind of mumbled under his breath, and, uh, my, 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 my body started to feel awfully weird. And I was like, you know, this is the strongest fucking marijuana I've ever fucking had. Like, I was, I've never, I've never had any, well, like, you know, usually when you get high, you know, it's like, again, you fucking grab some food and, 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 and go lay down and fucking eat your food and watch some TV. But this was completely different. I, you know, I was sitting on my back step. Just like I am now. And um, I will be pausing a little bit to kind of give you guys a kind of a visual representation. I'm sitting on my back step and I'm, I'm, I'm my body starts feeling like it's going in and out of itself. Like this. Like, and it was the weirdest fucking feeling ever. You know, it, it, it's kind of hard to explain, but it kind of felt like I was in a video game that was lagging. And my body was just moving in and out of itself back and forth. And I'm, I'm, I was rubbing my knees... Uh, uh, to to try and stay awake. That was the first thing I thought of. You know, I was like, rub your knees so the way you can stay awake. Because I don't want to fall asleep because I don't know what the fuck is going on. Um, and it, it, he tells me, you know, he, he tells me afterwards. He was like, oh, you know, it was K two, um, and I'm still rubbing my knees. And I was like, why the fuck did you give me that? He was like, I didn't think you were actually gonna smoke it now. You, for those of you who don't know my brother, he's not the most intelligent person. Charlie, I love you. I really do, you know. But you, you know you're not fucking Albert Einstein. Um, 
I mean, he's not fucking rock dumb, but he's he's definitely not a fucking mathematician. Um, or some kind of fucking philosopher. And he's like, I didn't really think you were going to take it. I mean, he's he's grown up a little bit since then, and I don't think he, you know, I don't think he no longer, you know, he smokes it anymore. But, uh, lo and behold, I did take it, and I took a big-ass drag, and I, I hit what was called, or at least what I think is called in the Spice community, you know, it's K2 Spice, you know, they have all kinds of different names for it. Um, but in the Spice community, it's called a hot spot. Um, basically what that means is, you know, I said earlier that it's basically just a bunch of, like, kitchen spices mixed with rat poisoning. Well, whoever's doing the mixing, if they don't mix it well, there's a concentration of the chemicals in one area. And I hit that, which was not good considering it was my first, not only was it my first time smoking it, but I, like, I hadn't had anything to eat that day. I had barely anything to fucking drink because I had pretty much just woken up and I was like, I'm going to go play some fucking basketball. Um, and, you know, I took the biggest fucking drag. Um, and and it, it just wasn't... It wasn't good for me. So I started to... Kind of, you know, like I said, my body just starts fucking moving back and forth in and out of itself. I'm rubbing my knees to try and stay awake. And then all of a sudden... You know, my brother asked me, he goes, are you all right? And I, I like, I don't know what's happening because I, I have never had this fucking feeling before. It's never happened to me or anybody that I know. Um, so I was, I was freaking the fuck out, but I was like, you know, you got to stay calm. If you freak out too much, you could go into cardiac arrest. I mean, I was that fucking shook up. Um, and uh, uh, you know, so I'm rubbing my knees and rubbing my knees, and then all of a sudden they were playing this song, and I don't know the name of it. I know he probably remembers the name of the song, and if he's watching this, he might drop it. I I, I cannot remember the name, but the song started to kind of slow down a little bit and 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 get like lower. Like I know this sounds fucking insane, and it was insane. Trust me, being in the moment and having it happen to me. It was fucking the, 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 the craziest thing I've ever been through. And I never want it to happen to any of my kids. If I have kids, anybody I know, you know, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't wish it on my worst motherfucking enemy. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a just state that right fucking there. Um, so the music started to slow down and kind of get lower. And, um, my, my, my brother and his friend, the same thing started happen to, happening to them. And then all of a sudden, I fell backwards. Like, I'm sitting down like this, and my head, I fell backwards. And um, I hit my head on a screen door, or a storm door, whatever you call it, on my back, uh, you know, my back door. And basically, what happened was, I'm going to have to pause for a, a, a long, a long uh, well, not a long time, but, you know, I'm going to have to pause for a second. I fell back, I fell asleep, um, I'm assuming is what happened, uh... I fell back, I hit my head, and then I, I, I started sliding. I don't remember any of this, so what I what happened on the outside is what, you know, my brother and his friend told me afterwards, you know, um, what they told me. I, I could feel myself hitting my head, but then I, that was it. I kind of blacked out, and they said I started sliding down the stairs. I was, like, sliding down the stairs. And, and trying to, like, I don't, I, they couldn't explain what the fuck I was trying to do, but in where I was at, I'm going to explain to you what happened where I was at. When I fell back and hit my head, everything started repeating itself, and it's hard to explain. It, it really is, and I'm, and, and I'm sounding like a fucking lunatic, um, and I know I am, because I thought I was fucking crazy, but... Basically, when I fell back and hit my head, I had gotten back up after I had gotten off of the stairs, and then I fell into a pole. That way, it was like a railing. I fell into that, into my, you know, my brother's friend's arms. I fell into him, and they tried walking me into the basement, and I was looking down. And when I was looking down, I could see. 
I couldn't see when I wasn't looking down. It was just like darkness and, and, and I couldn't see. So when I was looking down, they were trying to get me in and I was like, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 I can see. But they didn't listen and they kept pulling me. And um, I looked up at my friend's face and my it felt like my whole fucking head had fallen off of uh, my body. I'm gonna eat now that I have to eat. I felt like my whole head had, had fallen off of my body and I just went back into repeating um, the cycle. And then they were carrying me through the basement like this and my head had dropped and I could see the floor again. And I was perfectly fine. And then my brother's friend said, man, I told you you shouldn't have let him smoke that shit. And um, that's when he said, oh, I didn't think he was going to take it. And they were carrying me through the basement door. And I had looked up to, to make it through the door. And that's when everything repeated itself. So I hit my head again. I fell back into my friend's arms or my brother's friend's arms. And then they carried me back through the basement. I walked back through the door and I fell backwards again and hit my head. And it repeated and repeated and repeated. So if I was like this... If I was like this, 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 that's pretty much just what it was. I, you know, I fell back, hit my head, fell into the railing, walked to the basement, walked to the door, fell back, hit my head, fell into the railing, walked to the basement, walked to the door. Um, and it kept getting quicker and quicker and quicker. So I fell, fell, walk, fell, fell, walk, fell, fell, walk, fell, fell, walk. It kept getting quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker. And, um, until the, I couldn't see anything at all. I was, like, in this orange fucking space. It, 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 because everything had gotten so fast, the picture kept mixing itself. And I was just in this orange space now with this song playing in the back of my head. The song that they were playing before I fell out of it was the song that was playing. Now, I, mean, I can't see the real world. I can't see anything. Um... And I don't know if my brother still has the video, but I was they, they had brought me into the um, the basement and sat me down on a recliner. And I was doing this with my hands because the place that I was in personally, I couldn't I couldn't feel anything. I, I had like pins and needles in my entire body. So I was doing this to try and feel something, but I cannot see. I had no idea I was doing this. I had no idea they had sat me down in that chair. I was completely out of it. But, I, you know, everything kept repeating itself in this place that I was in. And the music kept going and kept going and kept going. And it kept getting quicker and quicker and quicker. And then it felt like I was hitting my shoulder and my head over and over again. I was hitting my shoulder and my head. And, um, and regardless of whether or not you believe in, you know a higher being or whatever i'm not going to get into it with anybody i do personally believe in uh, a god you know and and where there's a god there has to be you know where there's good there has to be evil uh you know so you know when you know if i believe in god i have to believe in the devil himself um and that's where i thought i was going i thought i had been kicked out of heaven and i was falling down uh the stairs you know the stairway of heaven you know straight in the fucking hell and, um, you know, I, I, I just started reflecting on every fucking thing that had happened. And I was like, you know, just in my own mind, I was like, I shouldn't have fucking... Did that hit me? Yeah, that hit me. I, I didn't see the red mark come across the screen. But it, in my own mind, I was just reflecting on everything that had fucking happened. And I, 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 I couldn't believe that this is how I fucking went. You know, I was pissed off. And, and so I'm hitting my head over and over and over again. And um, my head and my shoulder, my head and my shoulder, my head and my shoulder. Meanwhile, the song is still playing. Um, and then I, you know, so I, 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 I start praying for forgiveness, you know. And I was like, yo, even if, you know, God, if you don't get me, if you don't bring me back to life, if you don't, you know, bring me back to where I was before this happened. Just at least get me out of the place that I'm in right now. Um, and this is where I start going, getting real fucking crazy. Because I heard a voice talking to me. You know, and he said, I can help you out of this. But first you have to help yourself. And I'll never forget it. I can help you out of this. But first you have to help yourself. And... 
I didn't know what it meant at the time, but I, I, I started choking. You know, I couldn't breathe, and my, my mouth was getting really dry. Uh, um, and I just started pleading. I was like, yo, I'll do whatever the fuck it takes. Like, I really don't even care uh, uh, what it is. I'll do it. And... I'm, I'm over here pleading, and I'm like, please, you know, just get me out of here. I don't care if you bring me back to life. I don't care if you put me in fucking purgatory or if I'm a ghost fucking doomed to wander the earth for the rest of fucking eternity. I don't care as long as I'm out of this place. And and I'm pleading and pleading and pleading, and my, I'm, I'm choking more and more and more. And um, then all of a sudden, I things started slowing down. So everything was back to repeating itself, but it was slowing down. And as it started slowing down, I could hear my brother. <laughs> and it, 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 it was the saddest fucking thing that's ever happened to me in my life. You know, I could hear my brother fucking bawling, absolutely fucking bawling, like a big ass baby, crying his fucking head off. And, and you know, my brother's friend was like, yo, relax, he's going to be all right. You know, he's going to be fine. And, um, you know, he's just crying and crying and crying. <clears throat> and, um, it, I, I, things started slowing down more and more and more. And I started coming back to, you know, I, I started to be able to see again. And as I'm coming back to, I, I see my brother's friend, he's, you know, shaking me on the floor, um, and, 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 and it's just like, it hit me like a fucking ton of bricks, everything was slowing down, and I could hear my brother crying, the music stopped playing, and, you know, I can see him shaking me, and then it just, boom, I just snap right the fuck back into it, and, um, it's, it's gonna seem like a fucking joke, and I know it is, um, but, my my brother's friend had picked me up in front of the brightest light in our basement and it, the light kind of wrapped around his face so when i got up absolutely fucking bawling i mean i'm crying um you know i i had walked over to the light now i'm staring at this fucking light bulb now this is a bright ass fucking light but i'm just staring at it and i was just fucking on like the amount of you know, thankfulness I had for this fucking light. I was touching it, and I was like, thank you. I was like, thank you so much. And I turned around, and I gave them both a hug, and, 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 and but things weren't, still weren't perfect, because I, I was still having problems, um, you know, because, uh, of the drug, it had not fully, uh, wore off yet, um, Oh, I'm over to the shotgun now. It had not fully wore off yet, so it still looked like everybody was a video game character. I shit you not. If they walked from one side of the basement to the other, they would, like, skip through the basement. And I started going fucking insane. I started telling them, like, we needed to repent for our fucking sins. Because if we don't, we're, I, you know, I'm never going to get out, stuck out of this fucking place that I'm in. And I, and, and I can't fucking, I can't be in here forever. And um, they weren't down to do it because they don't believe in, you know, Jesus Christ or whatever. And, and, and that's fine, you know, it's completely up to them. But, um, you know, I just went fucking crazy. And I kept saying, like, we need to do this, we need to do this, we need to do this. So my brother's friend wound up leaving. And then I told him, I was like, yo, we need to fucking do this. And, um, he just walked, he left the house, and, um, I'm gonna fucking die. I got, I got more armor, and I got healing items. I don't know what hit me, but, okay. He left the house, and I followed after him. Now, I'm in, I, I don't have shoes on or nothing. I'm just walking down the fucking street, and, um... You know, I'm just saying all kinds of weird shit, yelling at him and whatnot. Um, and, you know, eventually I calm down and everything sort of comes back to normal. And, um, 
I asked him, you know, after everything was all said and done, he showed me the video of me sitting on the couch, uh, or not the couch, the recliner, and just doing that fucking thing with my hands. And I was like, you know, what the fuck? Like, what happened? Because I don't know. I wasn't there. I couldn't see. And he goes, you know, I'm going to take care of this aggro real quick, and then I'll, I'll, I'll explain what he said, but... If I can ever fucking get rid of it. I don't know how well getting rid of aggro goes with the shotgun in the wasteland. It might just come forever. I'm not sure. Um, but essentially, it, what he says happened was after I had taken the drag from the joint that they had rolled, um, I had fallen backwards. I hit my head and I started sliding down the stairs like I explained earlier. And... Um, Oh, God. I don't like those fucking guys being that close to me. And there's so fucking many of them. Of course there is. Oops. Don't do that. And, um... You know, I, I started sliding down. And then I stood up. Fell into the railing. They walked me through the basement. They got me through the door. And sat me down on the recliner. When I started doing that weird fucking thing with my hands. Um... And I was like, okay, I pretty much remember most of that up until that point where they had sat me in the recliner. Because I don't remember that, but I remember walking through the basement door, but I don't remember what the fuck happened afterwards. Um, and, you know, so sat me in the recliner, and I sat there doing that thing with my hands for a, a little while, while they were watching something on TV, and, um... They were they were watching a TV show. It was I think it was Wildin' Out, Wildin' Out, Wildin' Out, with fucking Nick Cannon or whatever. And um, I had looked at him while they were watching the show, and I had grabbed his knee, <laughs> and I was like, I've been here before. Like I was experiencing deja vu. I don't know if I've ever said this in a video, but I I experienced deja deja vu very, very frequently. Um, especially after this accident, um, you know, uh, I probably experienced deja vu at least once every other fucking day, um, and, and it kind of gets me down sometimes because it reminds me of what happened and I don't, I don't like to really remember what happened, but please get the fuck away from me. <laughs> Do not explode on me, man. Um, so, I looked at him, grabbed his knee, and I was like, I've been here before. And, and I remember this part because I was looking at the ground before I grabbed his knee. But then once I grabbed his knee and I looked up at him, I, you know, I was like, I've been here before. And when I looked the fuck up at his face, the look on his face, and it, my whole head, like I said, you know, I couldn't see when I was looking at anything other than the floor. My whole head just felt like it fucking fell off again. And that's when I was back in this place. Um, I don't remember, you know, I don't know how long I was sitting in that chair for. They didn't really go that far into details. They just told me I was sitting in the chair. Then I got up. And um, they thought I was fine. Thought I was perfectly fine. Because uh, I stood up out of a fucking chair. And... I, I walked over to the basement steps, and I looked at them for a second. Now, I don't remember any of this. This is what they're telling me. I looked at them for a second, and I took one step forward and fucking missed the step and just, boom, fell forward. Fucking slammed my head against the steps. And then I kind of got up, stumbled, and fell back into the wall. And then I took a couple steps forward and just collapsed. And, you know, going back to when I said I felt like I was falling down the stairs, hitting my head and my shoulder over and over again. Um, when I had collapsed at that point, I had started having a seizure. Um, and and I, I, I mean, I knocked over all kinds of shit. I broke all kinds of fucking stuff because I was fucking flailing about. And I was hitting my head on the weights I had on the floor. I have weights on my floor right now, but... It's not the same house. You know, I keep my weights on the floor when I'm not using them. <laughs> and I 
fucking just was doing this, you know, season the fuck out. And um, so pretty much everything that happened to me in this place that I was in that I couldn't see was happening to me in real life. I just did, I, I didn't know it. I didn't know what was going on. And um, I'm hitting my head over and over and over again. And they start to panic. And don't do this when somebody's having a seizure. Um, you know, don't flip them on their back. Uh, but that's what they did to me. Uh, I mean, they didn't really know any better. They'd never really been in a situation like that before. But they flipped me on my back. And when they did, my tongue had slid into the back of my throat. You know, because I, I didn't have any control over my muscles. It was just, you know, went in the back of my throat. And um, I started choking and choking and choking. Um... While I'm still fucking, you know, seizing the fuck out. And, uh, you know, that's that's when my brother, you know, started to, to really panic. You know, he thought everything was going to be fine. And, you know, I was going to get out of it, no problem. But it, it, it didn't really turn out that way. Um, so he started to panic, started to cry and cry and cry. And then, you know, that's when my friend was, you know, or his friend was telling him, you know, He's gonna be alright, you know. He's he's gonna live. He's gonna get through this, and that's what I did. You know, I got through it, and um, I'm still living today to tell the story. Uh, I don't recommend any drug. Uh, you know, whether you're snorting, injecting, inhaling, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, rubbing on your fucking testicles, whatever you're doing with it, I don't recommend it, uh, you know, do something productive with your fucking life, don't, don't start doing drugs, it's not, it's not healthy for you or anybody around you, uh, emotionally, physically, you know, anything like that, it's, it's short-term pleasure versus long-term pleasure, you know, you, you have short-term pleasure for five or six years, but then you ruined your life, and you got a fucked up back, and fucked up everything, and, now you, you, you're going through withdrawals and you're fucking, you know, you can't get a job. It it just fucks up your entire life. Don't recommend it. Um, not that you really needed to hear that from me, but, you know, because there's fucking ads everywhere. They don't do drugs. Um, but I, I, I did come back too, and it, but like it wasn't over after that, you know. it What I went through, you know, I'm... It just, it wasn't easy to deal with. I had a lot of questions and no answers because nobody that I knew knew what happened. I mean, I mean like, we all knew I overdosed um, because, you know, I had taken, you know, I hit the hot spot. I had a long drag, but nobody knows uh, why what happened to me happened to me. And, um, so I was left, and you, I, I talked to a lot of you guys personally on my Discord, on Steam. A lot of you guys know that I, I overthink fucking everything. Like, even my YouTube channel, when I woke, when I woke up this morning, I was like, am I really being as good as I can be? Am I, am I, am I, you know, am I really giving people what they deserve? Are people actually liking my content and, and. I mean, you guys show your support constantly, but it's just it, it's just a plague that um, I've had for most of my life, overthinking, you know, it, it's affected relationships and all that shit, but, you know, and, and it'll, it will affect me for the rest of my life, um, but sitting in bed by myself, staring at a wall, overthinking about what happened and you know, what does it mean for me, like, the kind of thoughts that were going through my head was, you know, was I, was I actually going to hell, and if I, you know, because, again, I do believe in, you know, a, a Jesus Christ and God and all that, but then, you know, I also have to believe in the devil, um, you know, was I actually going to hell, and if I die, is there anything I could do now to, uh, prevent myself from going back there, I don't ever want to go back there, um, you know, and, and constantly overthinking that, like, I'm not a good person, I, 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 I'm not doing enough in my life, 
Uh, and when I die, I'm going back to this place. Absolutely terrified me. It affected my sleep. I didn't get very much sleep at all. Um, you know, I, I started having, like, fucking meat sweats. I would wake up in pools of fucking sweat. Um, I, I, I started suffering from, uh, depersonalization. Uh, and it's, it's, it's so fucking hard to explain these kinds of things to people who have never had them. Um, or know anybody who has had them. But basically, I mean, what it, what it kind of looks like is, I'm gonna explain it really fucking wrong. And if you guys want to get a better explanation, I would suggest Googling it. Um, but the way I can explain it, having had it and still suffer from it sometimes, um, is when I look at my own hands, uh, like now they look fine, you know, they're my hands. But back when it happened and I was, it, it, it was like an everyday thing. I was suffering from this, this depersonalization. It was like my hands weren't mine I knew they were connected to my body my arms my everything but they weren't mine like there was two sets of movies playing and this one was seeing like this is what my body saw right where my eyes are and this is what I saw back here it was it's really fucking weird it was like I was watching my life go by and not actually living it. It's so hard to explain, but that's that's pretty much the best way I can explain it. Like my hands were a fucking video game, but I knew they weren't, and it it, it just fueled my fucking anxiety. I and and I started, I, I couldn't sleep. I had these these, um, I can't remember what they're called, but like essentially when you're trying to go to sleep and your brain is constantly fucking active, and it won't shut off. It doesn't allow you to sleep. Uh, um, I would I would try to fall asleep, and as I was getting ready to drift off into sleep land, um, my body would jerk me back awake. Um, I can't remember what the fuck they called it, uh, but um, you know my my the levels on my fucking anxiety were so severe. It was fucking just not healthy. So I had to find something to do, and um, I downloaded this app. And I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not going to say their name because you know they don't pay me. But um, I downloaded this app that was essentially for meditation and whatnot, and it, it helped me a lot. Um, it really did. But uh, you know, for a long fucking time, I I dealt with that depersonalization every day now it's like you know i might deal with it once a month or so maybe twice a month um but every fucking day to not feel like a person fuck you and and to feel like you're watching your life through a fucking cinema screen is it, not something I would wish on anyone, you know, and then that causes me to overthink, which causes my anxiety to go off, which causes me to overthink even more, which causes my anxiety to go off even more. It's just a, it's a brutal cycle of just m problems and, and, you know, it's like, oh, you should go see a therapist. And I'm like, no, the fuck would I do that? I'm coping with it just fine on my own. Why do I need to pay all, you know, fucking thousands of dollars to have some fucking guy sit in a chair and tell me I'm fucking crazy? You know, like, I, I'm not. I, I'm a perfectly fucking fine human being. Um, you know, I still know how to laugh and fucking smile and go to work. And hey, I went through all that and I still don't have urges to kill anybody, so... You know, I think the serial killers are really milking it. They're like, oh my god, I had such a bad home life, and then, you know, so now I'm crazy, and I kill people. I think you're milking it. And I was like, <laughs> let me stop playing, because uh, some of them really have serious fucking, like, disgustingly serious mental disorders. But, you know, essentially, that that's what happened. They, they didn't call an ambulance, because being young and dumb, they didn't want to get in trouble, uh, you know, so they, they didn't call an ambulance... I was left to my own devices. That was it. It was either I either I get out of it 
or I don't. And it was completely just up to fucking nature at that point, you know, it, the nature of my body and how strong-willed I was. I don't know what the fuck kept me alive, but, um, you know, yeah. We didn't call an ambulance afterwards. I didn't go to the doctors. I didn't go to the hospital. Uh, I didn't go see a fucking shrink. You know, I explained everything to my mother because, uh, you know, I, I wasn't going to keep something like that a secret from her. And she could clearly tell that there was something very, very wrong with me. Um, and, you know, I explained that to her. And, you know, she was pretty pissed off. Um... But she was like, you know, as long as you feel like you're okay, then you know, it is what it is. And I've dealt with a lot of things on my own, you know, uh, personal problems, you know, friends, acquaintances, committing suicide, you know, stuff like that. I've dealt with a lot of things like that on my own. Breakups, uh, personal injuries. You know, shit like that. I've, I've dealt with a lot of that kind of shit on my own. I, I never needed anybody to fuck just happen. I just get, like, a security error or something? Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so I don't know what the fuck happened, but, um... We're back. Uh, what the fuck was I just saying? Uh, I didn't... Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I deal with uh, a, a lot of problems on my own um i don't try to bother people for help because i i don't want to drag them down with me you know i don't want them to be having a good fucking day and then all of a sudden here here comes my ass and now they're fucking all depressed and shit because they know people have gone through the same thing or they've gone through the same thing i don't want to drag them back the fuck through it and so i deal with a lot on my own um so I was like, fuck it, I'll, I'll get through it. I don't have any plans on uh, killing myself. That's not, I'm not about that. Um, I mean, it's just not, <laughs> wasn't in the agenda. But, uh, ooh, Nerton AB, cool, because I'm going to need that. Um, you know, and here I am. It's about, summer of this year will be two years, um, I can't remember exactly what month it was in. It was in one of the fucking summer months. I don't I don't have a really good recollection of the time, but summer of this year will be 2 years that it has happened and for about I would I would say a good 6 7 months it was like every fucking day I dealt with some kind of problem and um I I did anything to keep my mind off of it, you know work and just try to fucking calm down and relax but I would constantly think about that place and fucking just just life in general and how just like quickly I was almost snuffed out by a single fucking mistake and um you know what that mistake meant to me personally uh you know like if it had been one of my kids you know if I grew up had kids and something like that had happened to them I can't imagine what the fuck I would do you know and it it, it fucking scared me I'm I'm not scared of of anything uh in my life and it's not because I'm some big tough burly man I'm just nuts I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not fucking scared of anything you know I'm not scared of any other man I'm not scared of spiders I'm not scared of fucking drowning I don't have like phobias or 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 a fear of anything in life but I do have a fear of death you know what happens after you die where do you go I don't think I fixed my uh my border screen. I think I dragged it down a little bit so I could see what happened, and then I never brought it back up, which is fine because you guys don't really need to see my health anyway right now because I'm getting ready to go back to the outpost. But, um, you know, I, that's the one thing I was fucking scared of was, and I still am, you know, when I die, what happens? Do you just disappear? You no longer think. You no longer breathe. You can't taste. You're just like like you never existed. Or, you know, do you go to heaven or hell? And then if I go to hell, what is that like? You know, is it, you know, 
is it personalized or is it like everybody's just in a big old fucking fire pit roasting like some fucking suckling pigs um but you know i just i i had a lot of fucking a lot of problems uh and i went way too fucking far <laughs> i got to go i think i have to go back one don't i uh yeah i had a lot of problems i still deal with most of them today depressions anxiety um the depersonalization um but all of it's just purely uncom like it's it's just an uncomfortable feeling to have you know, it's not the end of my life. It's not going to kill me. Um, you know, I, I don't need medicine fucking for it. Uh, but it, it does get to me every now and then. And I know a lot of you notice. You know, on a couple of my videos, you know, somebody commented and said that I didn't look as, as happy as normal. Um, but, uh, you know, because I, I, I do still have these problems, but... Don't worry, I'm going to be fine. I appreciate all of your concern, you know, those of you who were concerned, but um, I don't want you to be concerned with me. I want you to be happy, live your life. Um, yeah, I'll be happy. I, I don't know the lyrics, but, you know, that's what I want you to do. Don't don't worry about me. Um, if, I, if I have some serious problems, I will definitely let you guys know. And I will probably take off um, from YouTube for a little bit if I have any actual problems um, in terms of just mental health or, you know, like somebody in the family passes away, which, knock on wood, hopefully doesn't happen anytime soon. Um, but the, the, the guy you see, uh, for those of you who have made it this far, thank you for that, um, but... The guy you see on the camera and, you know, the guy that you talk to most of the time in chat is not necessarily who I am in real life. You know, I, I am a bubbly person in real life. I, I do try to be funny and make people laugh and, and I try to be as nice and caring as I can be. But there's quite a few times where I will just sit in this chair and I'll stare at the wall and think... You know, where the fuck is my life going? Um, is it going anywhere? Am I going to be successful? You know, when I die, what's going to happen? Uh, you know, and then I just got out of the relationship. I broke up with my ex. And I was like, you know, what did I do wrong? Did I even do anything wrong? Or, you know, what could I? What else could I have done? Um, and it's a never-ending cycle. Because, you know, in terms of, like, you know, when I, when I dumped my ex, it was like, did I do anything wrong? And I could say... No, no, I didn't do anything wrong. But then I could turn around and go, well, you could have done this a little bit more. And, you know, it, it's just, it just fucking sucks. But, um, you know, I'm going to be all right. It's going to be okay. This, in case you haven't noticed, um, this is probably going to be a little bit more of a serious, serious, um, serious, serious shit. Say that shit fucking five times fast. Serious, 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 serious. Um, yeah, it's gonna be more of a serious series. Um, I'm not going to, I mean, I'm gonna crack a couple of jokes just cause I, I can't fucking help it. It's just the way I am. Um, cause that's, that, that's kind of how I was, you know, the things that happened in my life and, and the things I went through, that was the way I cope with it. And, you know, I, I, I made other people laugh, which made me smile. Um, so that's the way I, I, I cope with it. And that's just the fucking way I am. And, um. Sorry for the super long video. I know uh, I made a long video the other day, and a lot of you were like, "Oh man, I'm loving the long videos." But I know a lot of a lot of you also don't like them. But um, hopefully, you were entertained through the entire thing. For those of you who made it this far, um, you now know how I almost died. My whole life was just almost snuffed out within the matter of seconds, um, and I wouldn't be here today. If that had happened. So I am eternally grateful. Um, but with all that being said. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed hit the like button. Subscribe button. Hit share button. Definitely leave a comment positive and negative. It doesn't bother me. I just want to see some feedback. And if you enjoyed that much. And you want to see more of these. And um, 
you want to see more of the hardcore Road to 325 or anything else I might upload, uh, be sure to definitely go down and turn on post notifications so we can notify every time I upload a video because you're going to miss what is next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, before I go, though, you know, I want to say again, don't do drugs. I don't condone it, uh, you know, and I never will.